Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SESN. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, if you're new to charts and not sure what I mean when I say 30 minute, I do offer an explanation at that link. So if you go there, I'll explain in detail. Well, I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Another very nice movement today, not only from the price action perspective, uh, but volume is re remaining very uh, strong. Uh, not nearly as big as it was you know, a few days ago, but still definitely above average. So that's a, a good step in the right direction. So let's map out some levels of support and resistance now as we have a new week underway. So first level of support, which if you say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute best going forward? That's what I would call the ideal level of support here at a dollar ninety, or excuse me, a dollar forty-five. But with that being said, don't get me wrong; it's not like if the price falls below a dollar forty-five, then that implies the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that level, that would definitely be a massive sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line there comes into play, the 50 period simple moving average. Keyword being moving. As time goes by, that line is gonna move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, that right there being defined as the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. How you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above $1.45 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance moving forward? Initial area of resistance, just gonna be right here where the price got rejected from several times a day, right up there at $1.50. I mean, a couple of times right there, and then this afternoon, uh, about four periods in a row. If the price can push up through there though, and the good news is, is the price closed right at $1.50. So while that's not a guarantee that it falls, it's more than valid, it's a more than rational thought to say, you know what? Dollar fifty very well could be broken. Now, I mean, if the price was down here, and I'm saying that, that's much different because that means that the price first off just has to travel all the way up there to then do battle with the dollar fifty. But in this case, assuming there's no gap down, uh, there's no re there's no traveling required. The price can just immediately start knocking on the door there. So in the event though, a dollar fifty, which again not a guarantee, but more than valid in terms of potentially happening. But if that level can be broken, next key area after that, right up there around a dollar fifty-five. So all in all though, nice way to start off the week. Picked up right where it left off last week, and the week is young, still four days left. So let's see if the price can continue to build upon this momentum or not. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick before you go, I want to invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.